Hello and welcome. I am Terry Ikumi. This is The Gavel. The week under review at the National Assembly was filled with health-related matters, predominantly the outbreak of the coronavirus in Wuhan, China, and the need for the federal government to employ preventive methods against the virus gaining access into the country. Now, the House of Representatives voted against a motion seeking to evacuate Nigerians from China over the outbreak of the virus and urged the federal government to be better prepared for future health emergencies, while the Senate resolved to summon the Minister of Health to brief lawmakers on the steps being taken to prevent the virus from surfacing in the country. Also, the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, who appeared before the House Committee on Health, briefed the lawmakers on the recent update on the coronavirus and Lassa fever. Plus, a senator from Benue State is calling for investigation into an unknown disease, which he says has claimed 15 lives in the state. Those details are contained in our first report. The Speaker of the House of Representatives made his way into the Green Chamber for the first plenary session of the week, about one and a half hours behind schedule. As lawmakers settled down to the business of the day, the spokesperson of the House raised a matter of urgent public importance relating to the outbreak of the coronavirus in China. The urgent need to evacuate hopelessly stranded Nigerians in Wuhan and the wider province of Hubei, in the People's Republic of China. Also, pleading with the House to suspend the relevant rules to enable me to present it today. And those who support me say aye. Those against me say nay. They... <laughs> you know, The surprised reaction of the lawmakers prompted a consultation between the Speaker and Mr. Kalu, and the Speaker attempted to persuade members to at least listen to the motion, but the lawmakers insisted on dropping the motion. Honorable colleagues, I believe um, this is, we have just proven the saying that uh, the first instinct of um, any human being is self-preservation. So you don't no longer want your brothers back in Nigeria. I believe that motion has been taken care of. Honorable Ben, Honorable Ben, that is a good thing we haven't hit the gavel. Can you take that? Can you can you take that motion again based on the title? What is the title of the motion? I want to hear the title. Let members hear the title of your motion. The title of this motion is the urgent need to quarantine and evacuate over 65 members <laughs> of the city of Wuhan and the wider Hubei province in the <laughs> you, have, you have managed, you have managed to confuse the mover of the motion. I think what he meant to say was evacuate and quarantine. <laughs> That way, that way you, that way you can kill two birds with one stone. Such motions should be gazetted, so that everybody can read through. And if it's a motion that appeals to the minds of everybody, we will be able to bring discuss the motion. It's not too urgent like that. Why I say it's not too urgent like that? Um, because one, China have a better facility than Nigeria. I know this is an unpopular stand that I take here today, Mr. Speaker, but my privilege has been breached upon. We have a few Nigerians, we have a very valid motion that would have been taken on, this, on the floor of the House. All we had to do as members was to listen to it. We have Nigerians who cannot get out of China, and we're talking about visa here. Mr. Speaker, just to register and to let Nigerians know that we should have a rethink and debate this motion. We have over 60 Nigerians. We're saying that they should come here to be quarantined. 
we are saying that they should, be, they should be back in Nigeria so that they'll be adequately taken care of. They've written to the consulate, nothing is going on. Are we going to abandon them because we're afraid to all die? We will all die someday, Mr. Speaker, just to register. My privilege has been breached upon, and I think as a House, we should debate upon this motion, on this motion. Thank you very much. Even the co-sponsors of the motion developed cold feet when they were called upon to second the motion. Mr. Speaker and my distinguished colleagues, based on <laughs> leadership, <laughs> leadership consultation and what appears like overwhelming misunderstanding of the intent of this motion, we wish to seek leave of the House to step down <laughs> the motion I think the only person that can step, the owner of the motion, is uh, Honorable Ben Kalu. And honorable colleagues, on a serious note, I think we can kill two birds with one stone. There are many members here, and I can point to, the, the Chairman of Foreign Affairs has children in, in, uh, in China. Nobody wants to bring people here to come and infect the larger population. I think we should, despite my candid opinion, here, his motion. Don't go, uh, don't make your mind up based on the title. Hear what his prayers are and what he's asking for. And then we can kill it at that point if we're not satisfied. At that point, we can kill it if we're not satisfied. So, uh, Honorable Elumelu, you want to second the motion? He's the co sponsor of the motion, but he says his mic is not working. <laughs> Honorable TJ Yusuf. The motion was eventually seconded but suffered defeats. I rise to second that this matter is urgent enough to be considered now. I so second, Mr. Speaker. Those in support, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. The nays have it. After plenary, the House Committee on Health hosted the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, who informed the lawmakers that everything was under control. We have put the epidemic trends of the last five years in series for you. Uh, so each line there represents a year from 2016 to the present year 2020. The red curve represents the data from 2020. And you can see from the red curve that yes, we have had more cases than we have ever had, but the trends in terms of the time of the year where we see the cases is exactly the same as we see, we've seen in previous cases. As we get into February and March, numbers will start coming down. And so we keep working very hard to educate people uh, on what attracts rats into their houses and how this virus is then transmitted from rats to humans and what they can do to prevent it in the states and local governments. So a little bit, a few words on our response. Um, we have activated our emergency operation center to coordinate the response, but in addition to that, we have also activated the response in Eboye, Ondo, Edo, Enugu, and Kan Kano and Borono states. One thing we have done very well over the last few years is support every state to set up an emergency operation center. We've also deployed teams to Ondo, Eboye, Kano, Enugu, and Borono, all within the first uh, month of this year. Honorable members, every case in Nigeria has been treated with a very expensive treatment called Ribavirin. We have provided every healthcare worker with personal protective equipment. You would not have heard of any stockouts in any of the laboratories this year. In our we provided extra tents and beds to expand their treatment center. So all this is as a result of preparatory stockpiling that we did over the previous year to prepare for the January, February, March period where we knew there would be more cases. Senator Meanwhile, in the Senate, when the issue of the coronavirus was raised, a lawmaker raised an alarm over the scarcity of gas masks, which he says has now been sold at exorbitant rates. He also wants the Senate to invite the Minister of Health to brief them on measures being taken to prevent the virus from entering the country. What is that? Over the last three weeks, face masks have become the most sought-after commodity in Nigeria with over 100 million face masks being 
unpatriotically exported to Asia using Motala Mohammed Airport and Port Harcourt International Airport. Also worried that the exportation of these face masks have led to a surge in the market price. Mandate the Nigerian Customs to enforce stringent measures to curb the ongoing unpatriotic exportation of surgical face masks from Nigeria to China, while working on how best to encourage local uh, production of, essential, of this essential commodity, like surgical face mask. Impose strict penalties and heavy fines on anybody trying to export surgical face mask within the period of the coronavirus outbreak. Mandate the Federal Ministry of Health and other relevant agencies to launch a sensitization and awareness campaign to enhance efforts in preventing an outbreak of such in Nigeria. And if possible, invite the Honorable Minister of Health to brief the Senate on the preparedness of his ministry towards taking precautionary measures to stem the tide of this virus. Uh, you realize you came under Order 43. Uh, what that means is that this is not subject to debate. The Federal Ministry of Health has already taken note, uh, note of this, and I further implore the Committee on Health to follow up. Thank you very much. The Senate also tasked the Nigeria Customs Service to, as a matter of urgency, introduce measures to stop the exportation of surgical face masks from Nigeria to Asia and other countries affected by the dreaded coronavirus. Senator Abba Muru further drew the attention of lawmakers to an unknown disease in Benue State, which he says has claimed 15 lives. On Wednesday, January 29, 2020, there was an epidemic outbreak in Noye Obi, claiming at least 15 lives in the community. The first victims are Happiness Ubu, Ona Ubedu, Wesin Agwa, and the Edu, who were hit by the disease and all died alike within 48 hours of contacting the undiagnosed disease. Further note that the strange disease has not been yet diagnosed by health authorities and medical experts. Certain that victims who have died from the disease develop the same symptoms of headache, internal heat, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach ache, weakness of the body, swollen stomach, and died in the same manner. More certain that as at Monday 3rd February 2020, the number of persons affected with the strange epidemic has risen to 104. Accordingly resolved. One, urge the Federal Minister of Health to mobilize focal persons to the area to investigate and ascertain the nature of the disease. Two, urge the Center for Disease Control to promptly put up surveillance to contain the disease and see to the treatment of victims and protect others from contacting the same disease. And three, Further urges the federal government, federal minister of health, to conduct mass mobilization and awareness campaign on how to prevent the spread of the disease. And finally, Mr. President, urge the federal minister of health to provide temporary succor for those already affected and prevent others from further contacting the disease.